day 30 of Around the World for Free. Welcome to Sarama. We are here in a Makushi village in the Amazon rainforest in Guyana. Bye. So to continue our trek further inland, further down south to get through this country, we left early this morning from Arrow Point. So Harold Singh has set us up with another surprise. I am flying to Kaitor today, which is one of the most, one of the hugest single drop waterfalls in the world, actually the biggest single drop waterfall in the world. And he said, I can't leave this country without seeing this little hidden gem. So he set me up with a friend of his who's gonna fly me into the interior to go check out this waterfall. Oh man, that's bad. Let me see. How much did you gain? Oh, like five pounds. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> but these shoes are heavy. Next one. I'm stressed out. Weighed myself on that scale to make sure like, you know, we could all fit on the plane. I've gained five pounds on this trip. Five pounds. Seven if you include the shoes. But I'm not including the shoes because I think they're really heavy. Five pounds, that's a lot. That's not okay. I'm on a diet. A big one. See, this is the problem with traveling. When you travel, you have no control over what you're eating. That's a lie. You have control over what you're eating. This is all my fault. I have to take responsibility. As we keep going, we're passing the sugar plantations where all the sugar cane is planted. And then later that gives way to thick, lush, green forest. All the locals call it the broccoli. It's pretty amazing, there's no roads. But we're gonna try the chief is where the Kaichu gets its name from. Oh, okay. Kai was the chief of the Patumuna tribe. Kai was the man who sacrificed himself in order to free the Patumuna tribe from the current. We're close. Sky jump in a canoe and go through the falls. Oh, the falls wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> the world's largest single drop waterfall. No big deal. Oh my god. Wow. So after Kai Tour, we got back on the plane with our pilots and flew down here to Aerokrama. We are landing on a dirt road in the Amazon rainforest. We just landed, they have to pick up a patient and fly him back to the city. It's so isolated here. You know, that's why when we travel, we come with a survival pack. We pack water, food, in case we have to overnight, you know? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna go now to Georgetown, he's gonna go to the, to the big hospital. Lots of doctors, he'll get better care there. Oh, that's good. Good thing we came. It's lucky we came. <laughs> I'm so glad Harold Singh made me take that detour to Kaitor Falls. I can't believe he even calls it a detour. That was like 
one of the most amazing sights I've ever seen. And now we're on our way to our real destination, which Bertrand is taking us to. It's his brother's house in Sarama, which is a Makushi village. So we drove down this bumpy road for what felt like a few hours. And Bertrand drove us until we got to this beautiful clearing. Here is where you go to stay. And the Alicock family's house. Hello, welcome. My name is Glendon and a pleasure meeting Hi, you and welcome nice to my to you. residence. Welcome. Hi. Good afternoon. Jean? Jean? Welcome to my home. Thank you so much for having me. So after that long trek, it was really nice to be welcomed by this family. They all came running out of the house with open arms. And then more members of the family come out. And then more members of the family come out. More members come out. So I think I've got the whole family here, right? Yeah. This is so nice. Thank you so much for bringing us in. Showed me around their house and around their lands. Here is a pit lotion. If you want to use it, no problem. So just sit. Very and nice. Have, and then we have the separate dishroom here. Oh, great. This is a upper plan. Look at this shower. <laughs> this is awesome. It's just a small shower. It comes from the well. So we pump the nice. water into the well. Anything. I love a good outdoor shower. <laughs> If you wish to use this head, you're welcome. But if you want to oh, get the device out there, no problem. Too. It's up to you guys. I think I'll probably take a hammock. <laughs> it's a really beautiful place. I'm really happy to be here. So I'm so excited to be here in Sarama and be with this gracious family and explore the lands and hear about your culture and learn more about your people. And by the way, for the at and poll this week, you voted hunting one. So tomorrow we're going to get out there and get after it. But then after that, you know, I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep going south as much as I can. So if you guys could send your messages in to cbs.com slash world, give me some ideas. Please reach out and I will check in with you guys as soon as I can.